everyone i hope you're well um i have been on a little break in bath with mason and it was really a beautifully filled trip with culture and heritage and just it was amazing so um i am back now it is at the end of the month and it is time to share my monthly favorites this month i thought i'll give it a little bit of a facelift so what i'm going to be doing is at least i'll try it for this month see how it goes and do let me know what you think about this sort of slightly more updated monthly favorites content but the format that i want to do is basically i will show you um like favorite for example a favorite watercolor that's out of the tube and then i will match a color palette around it so quite fancy for example turquoises or kind of blues with oranges i could then match a color palette in my other um, supplies and have like extras for example this month i have a gold metallic um, posca pen marker so that will be a little like a bonus um so I've got some colors here again to match the Indian summer, but also a little bit of gold and shimmer that I will talk you through. So this is what we're gonna do. I'll start with the water soluble art supplies first, and then we will move on to the pencils and the marker to towards the end. So let's start with a watercolor. For the watercolor, I'm going to use a little strip here, which actually comes in one of those yearly uh, diaries you know when you write down your schedules and things and there's usually one of those inserts I found it to be very useful <laughs> if I run out of uh, watercolor palettes which happens very often so this color I have featured in my latest Jackson's haul so the actual physical shop that I went to shop if you haven't seen it I've done a tour and I've done a separate video of swatching all the goodies that I bought there so this is the brown matter i have read a lot of your comments that apparently this color is or oh, the pigment is quite sort of rare um it has been discontinued or something so it's the pr206 and it is it happened to be my favorite color anyway so it's gorgeous it's very it's kind of it's red with lovely transparency if you like browns if you like reddish browns this is such a gorgeous color it has a beautiful depth to it so you can create deeper colors as well as lighter colors so i'll give you an example with more water you can almost create lovely peach toned skin tones and it goes into very subtle color and it looks still pretty some colors look just good in their mass tone and they wouldn't look as great in their kind of lighter um, mixes and colors so this one does really beautifully across any uh, any sort of um, mixture of pigment versus water ratio Okay, so that's this one. Again, it's Brown Mother by uh, Windsor Newton. And what I will do next is go into these watercolors. Now, these watercolors, I have featured them recently, actually. So I'll try to link a video uh, about these colors. They're really, really gorgeous. I have kind of like an autumnal palette going on. And... It's, uh, it's a color that matches well within that beautiful red autumn colors, brown red. You might find this uh, color palette quite appealing as well as adding uh, a pop color, which in this case will be sort of a range of um, turquoises, leaning more towards blue, leaning more towards green. And that gives you a good kind of um, opportunity to mix things. Okay, the other color that I'd like to include as well from this palette. This is, by the way, the Fine Tech uh, Colero 
palette which has six beautiful colors now this particular one i have composed myself i have um, taken colors from the earth tones i think and uh, i think two or three and then the rest i um just you know bought separately so this is a customized palette it's not something you can buy like that so the good thing is you can buy this plastic palette for about under two pounds if i'm not mistaken something very very affordable and then each of these colors you can buy separately so open stock and then you just clip them like that and obviously when you run out of them you can just repurchase the colors if you didn't like it so much you can get a new color and you can change up the colors in the palette so that's a lot of fun to do now this color is peach so we've got indian summer and peach so these are the watercolors and now i'm going to go into water soluble art supplies so now let's look at neo color 2 which are water soluble and they're by karen dash so this is a color called english red you'll get a better idea once i add some water I have sharpened mine because I like to keep a tip so you can just use a regular sharpener. I tend to use a sharpener specifically for them. A nice cheapy one is perfectly fine so that um, I just have a dedicated sharpener for them. They don't block it up or anything but that's just something I prefer to do. So we've got saffron here next to it. It's a more of a warmer toned beautiful brown orange and then we have two of these lovely colors so blues now this is a turquoise blue and a turquoise green so you can see now we are adding a pop of color to these kind of existing colors here English red, quite opaque, and you can see it literally looks like watercolor, very creamy. Saffron this was, yep, next one. Super, super creamy, very easy to get rid of the line of the uh, crayons because it melts really easily turquoise blue that has this milky white base to it and turquoise green there you go now I will do two watercolor pencils and then at the bottom we will move on to the pencils uh, like just regular colored pencils and the Uniposca marker. So I'll start with the barrel green. Now that's probably the greenest out of all of them but I think it still looks quite beautiful in this kind of range, color range. So let's do that. And one here. The second one is malachite, I believe. Light malachite green. So barrel green. Very beautiful color. Very vibrant. And then we have the light malachite green. This is quite a gentle color if you're working with pastel color palette it would be a great one. 
So now we can look at the colored pencils. First color here is Russet. I really like this color because it's got such a beautiful redness to the brown. And uh, if you're thinking of it as an orange color, it's got a lot of sort of earthiness um, into it. And then if you think about browns, then it has a beautiful red glow to it. So here is Russet. Then I have another light color, which is a middle verde grease. Works really well in this palette. It feels a little bit drier than the Russet in terms of color lay. And then we have light malachite green so let's see how that sort of compares to the watercolor light malachite green because again these are caran d'ache luminance pencils which i haven't mentioned so it's the same color but in a um, colored pencil and that one is watercolor pencil by caran d'ache so same brand, two different ranges of pencils. So depending on how you're working with your mixed media, that's what you would get. Um, so then we have Crisa Cola Blue. Crisa Cola Blue. So Crisa Cola is actually a crystal or a stone that you can look up and then we have turquoise blue so this one is more milkier less vibrant than the chrysocolla blue Finally, we have Uniposca in gold, and this is the PC3M, which I highly recommend. It's very reliable. So you can go quite thick and thinner in the same nib. And then I'm a huge fan of these kind of dotty marks. To add a little bit of accent to mixed media artwork. In general, the color palette looks quite fresh actually for autumn. It has that bounce of a color, so it's not just going into autumnal browns, reds, oranges, yellows. It also has a nice counteracting contrasting color that plays so well together. It's really sort of harmonious and uh, a really nicely balanced color palette altogether. But I'm not necessarily saying that all of this should be used in one go. I'm giving some options in terms of color palettes. We can obviously take this color and add more colors to it, leaning more towards yellow uh, or red and have a bigger um, selection of those colors and then we can pick one of the colors from from the popping colors uh, but it doesn't have to be that way you can play with it whichever way you want and whichever way feels right and um, comfortable for you and I have a great class which if you haven't checked out I'll try to link it up here it's called contemporary color palette and I'm exploring um, how colors work together and what makes them stand out a little bit more and uh, makes a, a, a balanced color palette all together and how to work in a more limited color palette rather than confusing yourself with loads of you know screaming bright colors um, 
unless this is something you like, <laughs> but I find it calms my mind to just have a focus on a few colors and it works a lot better in the contemporary uh, way of viewing art. So now let's have a look at the colors closer and see how they behave and how they reflect in some cases. So here we've got the Indian Summer and Peach by Fine Tech. And this was the Brown Mother by Winsor & Newton. And down here we have Neo Color 2 in English Red and Saffron. Then it's Turquoise Blue, Turquoise Green, And here we've got Museum Aquarelle. I have to um, point out though that in real life this color is actually more saturated. It's more a deeper green than it is showing up on the camera right here. It almost looks a lot more lighter uh, and kind of almost like bleached out on the display. Uh, keep that in mind. And then we have almost a watered out version of what I'm seeing on the display. Uh, and this is the light malachite green versus the beryl green. Very kind of pastel-like, milky color, this one. This one is very vibrant, very, very vibrant. Then we have Luminance um, Caran d'Ache pencils, and here we have Russet, which you can see, lovely red-toned brown, middle verdigris, light malachite, chrysocolor blue and turquoise blue. This one almost doesn't look like a turquoise, it almost looks like a sky blue to me with a lot of opacity to it. I'd say the most opaque colors out of these five are middle verdigris, light malachite green and the turquoise blue. The chrysocolor blue and the russet seem to be quite transparent. And finally we have Uniposca PC3M in gold. So great for little detail. So in this month we have three different metallic colors. With the peach it almost separates a little bit. I don't know if you can pick that up. Um, it has that beautiful kind of uh, peach outline with some gold in there so I can see like a base color slightly different to the actual micas and it's very very pretty in my opinion and works well with this color palette it's sort of not really a bronze and it's not really a gold maybe somewhere in between like a rose gold and a gold mixed together you'd get this color so I hope you enjoyed this October favorites. Let me know what you think of this new format of me kind of collecting similar colors uh, across different mediums because I do enjoy working with watercolor and mixed media together. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.